Many years ago I tried doing a starter motor for myself using a sports starter and then some, I had some water jet cut ring gears. Uh, I'm trying to get them to fit inside the primary area behind the clutch and modifying clutch baskets, either chain or whatever. Anyway, I tried that a couple of times and never really got much wear with it. So, you know, six months ago I saw this ad for these ARC engineering starters available through Shropshire Cycles in the UK. They're a bit expensive. Well, they are and they ain't. If you want an electric start bike and, you know, you're an old bloke with a crook knee and you don't want to buy a new bike and lose the money off the floor with a new bike, then it's not too bad. All up, it cost me five and a half thousand Australian dollars. Landed at the door through DHL, which is a really good experience. And, um, you know, this it was pretty easy to fit too. The only problem I had was, of course, I had a, I got a Norton crank in this bike, so I had to have the front pulley modified with an Atlas single row pulley, you know, modified into the Arc Engineering pulley, which gave me the um, drive pulley that I needed up front. And I had to make up my own spacer and a seal on the crank like a Norton does. Fill in a few oil holes, because my, my primer used to be the, the um, breather as well. And then you can see, I fitted a breather here, removed the timing cover, drilled and tapped and shoved the 38 brass fitting in there and that goes up to here. And then I have yet to take the breather out of there. And yeah, the, um, normally I'll put that into the air cleaner so that it makes a closed circuit. Um, we'll just see what happens with this engine, how it's going to go, if it's going to breathe out of there or not. I did, um, while I was at it, I fitted a 5 speed gearbox and a single carb head and you can see the carburetor I've fitted you might be able to see that is a a CV 40 mil carburetor the sort of thing you'd find on 1200 Sportsters and the like and it doesn't do too bad what I had to do with the battery box was extend it you know weld a few tabs in it and extend it down I still may have to cut a little bit out from under the seat but I'm not quite there yet with this you can see this bike is a, a bigger tyre, it's a 180 tyre, the frame's all been widened. It's a trident frame to start with, with a T12070 model rear section. Widened, you can see spaces there. And this was widened about that much in the back. The guard's widened at least as wide as that silver band for the bigger tyre. You can see the, the bigger tyre there. Anyway, and then I made my own box section swing arm you can see that in there so the whole object of this exercise was to get myself something to save me crook knee so excuse me for a second while I do this oh, idles needs to be sorted a little bit the pump, the carb's a pumper which is handy. So, I'm still yet to sort out the, the mixture and stuff, but it is pretty close. Haven't got that much more to do to it, but I could do with a richer needle. I see the needle at all, they're marked and I don't know if I can buy one but the alternate would be to put a thin washer underneath the needle, raise it up a notch which would be equal to a, say, a notch on an amyl but I've, I don't um, have any really thin washers that'll fit in I've had a look at it and I need to sort something out either try and, try and buy a, a, rich, well, a richer needle, in other words a thinner one or raise the needle up That'll give it a little bit better response until it warms up. It's a bit spitty, you know, it'll spit back a bit because it's, if you ever watched a Harley start up with on the old carbs, they quite often spit back a bit till they warm up. This one's doing that at least on a cold start. Good thing about the pumper and then you got, because of, they have a choke on them, then I can just pull the choke out there until she warms up a bit. And it's actually an enrichner, not a choke as such. But yeah, so, so far so good. I'm quite impressed. It's um, doing the job. A lot of dough, yeah, for sure. But, you know, 
you're going to have what you're going to have, I guess. And um, I'm pretty happy with it so far. So, anyway, thanks for watching.